Hi, my name is Harlan with the tech support team here at Solar Solution. Today we're going to be looking at the connectivity issues for the IQ Envoy or monitoring device for your solar system. You would have either received an error message that states gateway not reporting via the email, website, or the app. We're going to go ahead and get into the connectivity portion of the video. So in this portion of the video, we will be talking about the IQ combiner boxes, the Envoy S's, their location, and what they look like. As you can see here, this is an IQ combiner box. After opening the latches that should be on most of them, you'll see the breakers on the inside and the LEDs, but we'll talk about those compartments later in the video. Now to find these boxes, you'll see a gray conduit running from the side of the home. They'll normally have this red warning label on them just to help you locate them. If they don't look like one of these giant end phase boxes, you'll see a small square box with about eight screws on it. It'll also have an AC disconnect to the left of it or to the right of it, just a few inches away. In this part of the video below, you'll also see how we turn on and off that part of the system. And they'll also have this red warning label on them. Now, as regards to the Envoy S, those are going to be located on the inside of your home. You're going to want to plug those in near the breaker panel with the solar breaker in it. As you plug them in, you don't want them to have any extension cords or any power strips as that can mess up with the communications. Aside from that, we're going to go ahead and talk about the troubleshooting steps. And in this portion of the video, we are going to be discussing the components of the AC combiner, the AC disconnect, and the breaker panel. As you can see here, we have the AC combiner, and to make sure that the Envoy is receiving power, we're going to want to make sure that all the breakers are turned inwardly. Sometimes it might be tripped, and it's kind of invisible to the naked eye. So just to be sure, turn off all the breakers and turn them back on. Moving on to the AC disconnect, you're going to want to make sure, as we previously discussed earlier in the video, that you just pull out that switch, flip it to this corresponding side that says on, and put it back in. Lastly, to the breaker panel, normally your solar breaker will be found where the breaker panel has the warning label on the front of it. If it doesn't, that's fine, but going on the inside, it should either have this red tape, or somewhere on the panel's map, you should be able to tell which breaker goes exactly to the solar panels on the roof. But moving back to the AC combiner, we're going to now talk about the indicator lights. Once your, power, your AC combiner is actually powered up, these lights should start flashing red, and afterwards should be at a steady state. Moving from left to right, and in some cases up and down, we're going to first talk about the cloud light that you see. On some of them, they're kind of hard to see, so just bear with us as we go very slowly for you. The cloud light with the up arrow is your Wi-Fi light. It should be off, and that's what we're troubleshooting right now. The next light is a phone with an arrow inside of it. That is the AP mode, and the button corresponding to it is how you turn that on and off. With a simple press, you'll see that light turn on. If you press it again, it should be off. Next, you'll see a lightning bolt. That's just your power production light, and to the right of that is also the signal between the combiners and all the microinverters on the roof, with its button going to that button to that light as well. Keep in mind, those two lights might go between green and red, but don't ever worry if they are. We're just going to continue worrying about the first two lights that we already discussed. All right, we're at the portion of the video where we're going to show you guys how to step-by-step uh, -step troubleshoot your uh, IQ monitoring device um, and uh, show you guys how to connect that to your uh, home Wi-Fi. First step in the process, of course, is to ensure that your monitoring device is power on and you see feedback from the uh, LEDs that you see with inside the uh, IQ combiner. Um, from there we are going to press the AP mode button which is going to be the button to the far left here or uh, it's going to be the button um, if you're looking at it from up to down it's going to be the button um, at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and press that and as you can see that button or LED uh, turned green. Um, from there, you're going to go ahead and open your uh, phone settings um, and you're going to go ahead and connect to the access point. Pretty much this Envoy is giving off uh, a signal uh, that your phone can then connect to uh, to access the uh, data which is inside this monitoring device. So let's go ahead. To begin, we're going to go ahead and take out whatever phone that we're using whether it be iPhone or Android. To start off, we're going to go ahead in the settings of our phone, go to Wi-Fi, 
and being that we pressed that AP mode button earlier, we should be able to go ahead and select the Envoy Wi-Fi network name along with some numbers proceeding behind it. Go ahead and select that Wi-Fi and that way you can connect to the Envoy. After doing so, we're going to go ahead and open up whatever web browser we're using, whether it be Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, or Safari. And once going in it, we're going to use the IP address 172.30.1.1. Now, sometimes this page would take a long time to load. If that is the case, go ahead and open up a new tab, put the IP address in again, and let it load. They're also going to make sure that while you're doing these steps, that you continue to stay connected to the Wi-Fi. From time to time, your phone may try to connect to its cellular data or connect to a previously used network because this network doesn't actually have its own internet access. If you ever see a prompt come up on the screen, just choose to continue to use this network and do not get off of it, or you'll have to start over. From there, you should be able to see the administration page that shows you all the data on the entire Envoy and solar system. Under monitoring, go ahead and select Wi-Fi, and after a few moments, you will be able to see that it's asking for another username and password. The username is going to be Envoy, all lowercase, just as you see here, and the password is going to be the last six digits of the serial number. You can find these digits by either looking at the bottom of the Envoy or by looking at the side of the combiner box inside the door. Once doing so, you will be able to go inside the device and see whatever the device was connected to previously. If it wasn't connected to anything, you can disregard this step and just select a new network. But if it was, go ahead and forget this network as it will be easier for you to connect to something new. Once doing so, go ahead Select that new network, put in the Wi-Fi password, and click Connect. You'll know when this process is done when you see a successful notification pop up on your screen. If you don't, and you know that you put all of the credentials incorrect, your Wi-Fi just might be too far from your device. All right, guys, Harlan here. We're at the tail end of the troubleshooting process uh, in attempting to connect our monitoring device uh, to our home Wi-Fi. Uh, as you can see here, the far left uh, Wi-Fi LED is solid green. Um, just to let you guys know, normally the first indicator that you are successfully um, connecting your monitoring device to your home Wi-Fi is a pulsing green. Um, after the pulsing green, you will then see uh, a solid green. Um, after the solid green, you will then see a solid red LED. And then after that red LED, a few seconds later, it will, or a few seconds, or a few minutes later, you will then see a solid green, as you can see here. Um, but that is going to be the conclusion of the IQ uh, troubleshooting process. If you guys have any questions please feel free to give us a call 202-249-1112 and we do appreciate you guys thank you bye bye